Hello there, this is David from BrushcraftCanada.com. Just going to do another quick uh, comparison video. This is between uh, two really excellent joker knives. So this is the Canadiense and the Bushcrafter. So probably two of the more popular sort of mid-sized uh, hunting and bushcraft knives that joker do. And I thought I'd just do a quick side-by-side. -side. So I'll start with the uh, Canadiense for specs. So uh, the overall length is 9 inches. The blade length is 4.25 and the blade thickness is 3.7 millimeters, so a nicely sized, uh, nice and mid-sized bushcraft knife with quite a unique, um, uniquely profiled blade as well. So the steel on this particular one is the uh, really excellent um, Sandvik 14C28N steel. It has an HRC of around uh, 55 to 60, so it's a good HRC, good edge retention, that's sort of what it's known for, very high and it's sort of uh, toughness and general strength, so it's a very strong steel and a good corrosion resistance as well as it's a stainless um, and it's not too tough to sharpen so it's a really really good all-round bushcraft steel um, you know it's sort of a, a jack of all trades um, as far as its properties are concerned so a really good choice um, as a bushcraft steel so for the, uh, the bushcrafter so the overall length is uh, 8.75 inches, so just a little bit shorter. The blade length is 4.1, and the blade thickness is also 3.7 millimeters. So they're quite similar in uh, overall size. Um, just the profile, uh, the profile of the blade is a little bit different, and in this case, the handles are different. Uh, these are both a uh, Makata canvas, one in black, one in natural. Um, I, sort of, I thought I'd choose them uh, sort of opposite ends so you can see it a bit easier. I'll just do some quick side-by-sides. So uh, both steel pins, both have steel pins. Uh, the Bushcrafter has a red liner. The uh, Kennedy Ends has a black liner. Other differences are um, of course, the uh, bushcraft has a bit of jimping on the top of the blade, which is nice. And uh, the steel on this particular one, or on these bushcrafters, is um, the Bola N695 steel. Really good steel as well. Has an HRC of around uh, 59 to 62. Known for its really good uh, wear resistance. Has quite a high carbon content as well, um, which keeps it uh, keeps it uh, having a good edge. So it is a good edge holding knife. It is a stainless as well, and it also has pretty good corrosion resistance. The only downside to the uh, the N695 is it is a bit tougher to sharpen than most stainless steels. Um, so you might want to look at like a a good sharpener as well. Um, but uh, very good steel, very good for hunting. Be a good field dressing steel. Very capable and uh, holds a really nice edge. So both of these are full broad tang, as you can see. Both have spots for lanyards. So I'll just do some side-by-sides. Yeah, it's a tough choice between these two. They're both very, uh, very popular. They come with good sheaths as well. So for the candy ants, it's a um, nice simple brown leather sheath. Good stitching, Joker's logo up front. Does come with a standard belt loop and a dangler as well, which people seem to like. And in this case, a matching fire steel. And that's 5 16 so that's a good sized fire steel. But yeah, really nice package, um, really good for the woods. For the Bushcrafter, quite a similar sheath. Uh, this one's just in black, and it also has a uh, matching fire steel as well with sort of a red G10 liner in there. Also 5 16 So yeah, both really good um, really good little packages for the woods and um, both worth checking out if you need something for hunting, bushcraft, general use. Um, Joker does a lot of really good options and these are sort of two of the um, two of the standouts really. Um, both the steels are really excellent. 
fit and finish is good and they both fit very nicely in the hand. So yeah, check them out on our site, www.bushcraftcanada.com on Joker Knives. Thanks.